Hey everybody and welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about how to use film strip animation. Before I get started though, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who subscribed. Everybody who follows me on Patreon or Subscribestar as well, a massive thank you to you. My patrons are running across the bottom of the screen as we speak. If you haven't yet subscribed, feel free to do it. Hit the notification icon and let me know what you think in the comments below if you want me to cover a specific topic. In order for this technique to work, what you're going to need is a PNG file like this one, which contains an animation. Now this has a transparent background and each frame is identical in size. They're 300 pixels by 300 pixels and the file is read from left to right, four frames across, total of 24 frames, eight frames per second. So this is three seconds worth of animation in a single file. If you save it as PNG 8, you'll get the file nice and small so that it won't be too big. So now that we have that file, what we need to do is declare it as an image. So what we're going to do is we're going to type image jake underscore happy equals anim dot film strip with a capital F and open parentheses. So the first thing we need to do is name the file. So this guy is called jakehappy.png. Then what we need to do is we need to say the size of the frames. So it's 300 by 300. Then we need to say the grid size. So in this case, we have four frames across and six frames down. Then we need to say the delay in seconds. So one eighth of a second is 0.125. We can leave our positional information out for now. And then we can just say loop equals true. So now that we've got that declared, what we need to do is show it. So we're going to get rid of our show background video statement here. And instead we're going to say show Jake underscore happy. Open a segment and we're going to say x align 0.5, y align 0.5. That's just making sure that it's going to appear in the middle. Then when we run our project and we start, it'll take a second to load the animation. And then there we go. And this can also be used as a side image for an avatar where your characters are speaking. Very versatile, very useful. And then once it's loaded once it'll stay in your image cache so it won't have to keep reloading it i hope you found this useful <laughs> let me know what you think in the comments below and i'll see you in the next one bye bye